Question number four, page 149. Calculate the following, 0 0.4 squared minus negative 0 0.2 squared. Now, let's take a look here. Before we start, we know that a number like 2, for example, squared equals 4 because it's 2 times itself, or 2 times 2. What if we have something like this, 0 0.2 all squared? Now, since there is a 2 and it's squared, we know the answer has to have 4. But since it's a decimal, then the answer is also going to be a decimal. The thing is, you look at the original number, the number being squared, how many places are there to the right of the decimal point? Only one, right, for the 2. When you have one place after to the right of the decimal point, then you know in the answer you're going to have to have double of that. That means you have to have two places after the decimal point. So that's, that's why we add a 0. Similarly, let's say we have something like this, 0 0.02 all squared. Then we know that the 2 squared is 4, but since here we have two places to the right of the decimal point, then we need to have 4 in the answer. So 1, 2, 3, and then the fourth will be the number that we squared. So the answer will be 0 0.0004. Now let's take a look at the questions we have here. First one is 0 0.4 squared. So 4 squared is going to be 16. Since there's one place here to the right of the decimal point and it's squared, that means the answer has to have 2. Well, 16 is already 2, so the answer is 0 0.16 right away. No need to add any zeros. Minus. Remember, when you have a negative number squared, the answer is positive because negative times negative gives you positive. So negative 0 0.2 squared is the same as saying 0 0.2 squared. Now, we already got from here that 0 0.2 squared equals 0 0.04. So we know it's minus 0.04. Now subtract, we get 0.12. Answer is D. Number 5. Jenny got 70% on a 20 problem test, 80% on a 40 problem test, and 90% on a 60 problem test. If all three tests are combined into one 120 problem test. What is her percent score given to the nearest whole percent? Okay, so she basically took three tests. On the first test, she got 70% right out of 20 problems. Second test, she got 80% of the 40 problems. And on her last test, she got 90% of 60 problems. Correct. Now, all three tests are going to be combined. So I'm going to add the 20 problems to the 40 problems, that's 60 to the 60 problems, making it one big 120 problem test. I want to know her percent score on that big, long 120 problem test. So what we need to do is we need to know how many questions she got right on each of the tests separately, and then add the number of questions she got right, thus getting her new total out of the new 120 problem test. Then we can find the percentage. Okay, so really quickly, on the first test, she got 70% right of 20 problems. So 70% over 100 times 20. Take away a 0 with a 0, a 0 with the 0 up here, you're left with 14. Now, another fast way to do this would be to, to say, well, 70% of 10 is 7. So 70% of 20 is double 7, which is 14. Okay, on the second test, we know she got 80% of 40 problems. Okay, so quickly, 80% of 10 is 8. So 80% of 40 is 8 times 4, which is 32. So she got 32 questions correct. Finally, on her third test, we know she got 90% of 60 questions. 90% of 10 is 9, so 90% of 60 is 9 times 6, which is 54. So she got, on the first test, 14 questions correct. On the second, she got 32. On the last, she got 54. Now, add them together, 14 plus 32 plus 54. Let's see what we get. 14 plus 32, we have 46. 46 plus 54, we have 100. So she got a hundred questions correct. Out of how many problems total? 
out of 120 problems. Now, if I want to get this as a percent, I divide the number, which is 100, that I'm looking for, the percentage I'm looking for, over the total, which is 120, then multiply by 100, you get the answer in percents. So take away a zero with a zero. Let's simplify. 12 divided by um, 4 is 3, and 100 divided by 4 is 25. So we have 250 over 3. Okay. Now, what's 250 over 3? Well, we know that 8 times 3 is 24, so it's going to be 80-something um, percent. So actually, all the answers here are very close, um, except for, for A. But let's actually divide this to find the number we're looking for. So we do 250 divided by 3. Now, 7 times 3 is 21, but then 8 times 3 is 24. Okay, so there's an 8 here. 8 times 3, 24. Then 1 and 0. Then I have a 3 here. 3 times 3 is 9, so I have a remainder of 1. Now, the question is, 83 and 1 over 3 is how much percent? Well, remember, it said given to the nearest whole percent. So 83% would be the nearest whole percent because 1 over 3, 1 third is less than half. So um, it will be rounded down to 83